So welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept service costing. So what is service costing? See, we have used a lot of services in our daily life, but we never know like how they are like uh, costed or how is the price fixed for that for a few services. Okay. For example, we have taken a service like uh, transport, okay, for uh, moving our goods from one place to another or like using a courier or we have uh, used a, a transportation bus to move from one city to another city or in terms of banking or in terms of uh, an educational uh, course or a coaching center or a holiday or two pa tour packages. See, all of these are a service. Okay, it's not a product. These are services. And costing them, it's like quite different from costing a product here. So, services are, are any activity or benefit that one party can offer to another that is essentially intangible. Okay, intangible means you cannot like uh, see it. Okay, you cannot like touch it, but you can feel it and does not result in the ownership of anything. Its production may or may not be tied to a physical product. Okay, so they might have a physical product as a, as an attachment but it is not that that is the main product for example in a bus you you get the bus ticket okay but the bus ticket is not the ultimate purpose it's a travel in bank you get the passbook but passbook is the additional physical element but that does not mean uh, uh, that is not your ultimate purpose it's not about getting the passbook it's about getting the banking service in teaching you get the books you join a coaching center, you get the books, but getting the books is not the ultimate ultimate aim. The ultimate aim is to get the knowledge to clear that exam. And in holiday packages, you get uh, you get the food or you get the meal, but uh, on and the traveling from one place to another and everything. But the ultimate aim is to enjoy the tour package. Okay, so if you see, these are like services, and services are very unique. Okay, why they are unique is they have some unique features. For example, the first one is intangibility. So unlike a good, service cannot be physically touched. Okay, you cannot touch a service. Number two, inseparability. Here, you the consumption, okay, the consumption and the, uh, sorry, the production and the consumption is at the same time. For example, if you are going to miss a physical class, it's missed. Okay, so the teaching and the learning happens concurrently. If you book a rail, a rail ticket, okay, and you are not going to take that uh, particular ride, so your money is gone, okay, because that if you miss the train, the production is the movement of uh, of people from one place to the other. If you are not getting on the train, that is your loss, okay. So the production and consumption has to occur at the same time. The next one is variability or homo heterogeneity. See the the uniqueness of services. If you even look at our class itself, okay, this online lectures, one topic might be extraordinarily like interesting, another topic can be extraordinarily boring, okay. It's because of many factors. One, uh, I, I am not an expert in a particular topic, so I teach it in a boring manner. Or you do not like that topic, so you feel it's like boring. So, the service cannot be given at, at a consistent basis, okay. The service will change, okay. The service standard and the quality will change, okay. This applies to even teaching. Okay. So that is about the variability or heterogeneity. And the last one is perishability. We cannot have closing stock or opening stock for services. If you don't use it, it is perished. It is perished. It's that's it. So we don't have much of complexity kind of formulas and all here. Okay. So the formulas are not that complex kind of formulas here. The formula is a very simple formula. The formula is total cost of providing service okay divided by the number of service units used to provide the service will give you the cost per unit see ultimately in co service costing what we are trying to find out is what is the cost of serving a particular unit okay and what can be the price okay why is it like very uh, why is this so complex see this service costing is complex because i'll just give you an example you take a bus the bus goes from, uh, for example, from uh, one area one. Okay, we'll name the area first area as area one, two. So area one, from that it goes to area ten. Okay, from area one to area ten. So now you are uh, getting on on the bus. Okay, you are boarding the bus at area two. 
and you are going to get down boarding is area 2 and the dropping point and the dropping point for you is going to be area number 5 right so the bus moves like this and you are going to get down here okay assume this all this uh, areas are like equal distance okay so from area 1 to 10 okay area 1 to 10 all of them are like equal kilometers they are like equal kilometers <coughs> so it is like uh, the total is 10 kilometers and uh, each area okay each area to area each area to area is one kilometer okay so it is all equidistance it's all equal points okay so the bus is essentially going to travel for 10 kilometers and you are going to board at at point number two okay so the bus will go with you from point number two to three that's one kilometer three to four is the second kilometer four to five is the third kilometer so you you are going to essentially use three areas okay areas is uh, so from area two to area five it's going to be three kilometers right it's going to be three kilometers so you're going for three kilometers now the total cost of this bus can they charge that on you the answer is no they cannot charge the total cost of running the bus okay that they cannot charge you because you are a single customer so they can't charge you that assume that the total cost of running the bus on that particular day okay it's a one day cost we don't need to complex make it complex the total cost running the bus in a day so <clears throat> that's going to be something like 10,000 we'll put okay the cost of running the bus is 10,000 see you are just taking the bus for three kilometers how can they charge you the total entire cost of running that bus for an entire day it's not that you alone are sitting in that bus okay so there are like also many people and the bus moves assume that the bus makes trips okay the total trips total trips up and up and down this is equals to five trips okay they are making five trips like that okay what does that mean that means five trips up and down means it goes up five times okay and it comes down again by five times okay and each time it goes up and down one side of the trip is 10 kilometers so that's what we saw here okay so totally this is the total kilometers that the bus is running so this is the total kilometers that the bus is running per day so this is kilometers per day so the bus company says uh, says see we cannot charge you 10,000 per ticket but at least the bus goes up and down for 100 kilometers you at least pay for that so what they essentially say that say is pay us the cost per kilometer at least pay that so they say that uh, 10,000 divided by 100 is 100 is 100 is rupees 100 per kilometer so for one kilometer it is 100 rupees at least pay this is it like logical is it like logical and they say that see if you are agreeing to pay this you are going for three kilometers so pay 300 rupees but will you pay this the answer is again no you will say that what about the other passengers okay what about the other passengers so you'll ask what is the total number of passengers okay or average average number of passengers at least that you'll ask in each bus how many of them are like that how many passengers are like that so they say that uh, in each bus there are 40 people okay in each bus there are 40 40 passengers so now you ask a question so why should i pay for them also right why should i pay for them also it's like, it's not like logical okay i can't pay for the kilometers alone because there are like fellow people who are also traveling with me so why should i pay this much so what happens is the bus company now comes and asks you tells you okay 
we will find out cost per kilometer okay kilometer or passenger kilometer how much ever customers are there we will take that also into account so for every kilometer the bus has a cost of 100 and assume the bus runs for 1 kilometer but in that 1 kilometer itself averagely there are 40 customers there are 40 customers so this would be the passenger kilometer for one passenger per kilometer this can be the charge so they that at least it should be 2.5 so are you a single passenger yes so a single passenger okay traveling traveling three three kilometers should pay 2.5 into three kilometers you have traveled so pay 7.5 pay 7.5 rupees they say is this acceptable the answer is yes you have to accept this okay so this is how a bus ticket is fixed okay this is how a bus ticket is fixed if you think uh, the ticket price is fixed in some other manner the answer is no this is how it is fixed because but the bus company will say 7.5 is our cost so where is our profit so they will say that we will add some more element to this okay we will add like 1.5 rupees per kilometer so it comes to 4 rupees of selling price so 4 into 3 kilometers you have to pay 12 rupees you got the idea here so this is how uh, <coughs> this is how the price of a ticket gets formed okay so the same logic works even for movies okay movies are multiplied by uh, by some other like logic okay what logic they use is uh, they multiply okay see you are not seeing the entire show for yourself okay in a particular day there are three shows and there are like each show can easily accommodate 600 people means uh, sorry 200 people means three shows of 600 of 200 so 600 people can be accommodated in a full single day okay so if the total cost of running a show is like 60,000 60,000 by 600 would give you 100 rupees so 100 rupees is their cost so you got the idea here the idea is service costing working out it's like very simple but in reality it's a very kind of a messy concept okay it's not as clear as a product costing job costing or a batch costing process costing it's not like that service costing is quite quite difficult in reality okay.